Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is aseptic processing. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. Make sure you subscribe to get all the good content we're putting out. Check out the status bar below for our agenda. Stick around to the end for the bonus questions. Our topic, aseptic processing, is covered by 1345 section 6.3 and 7.5.2. There is a standalone ISO standard for aseptic processing. It is 13408, aseptic processing of healthcare products. There are a number of other ISO standards that also support aseptic processing. Aseptic processing in five words. Product remains sterile throughout manufacturing. Let's start with the definition. Aseptic processing is handling of sterile product, containers, or medical devices in a controlled environment where the air supply, materials, equipment, and personnel are regulated to control the sterility of the product. Aseptic processing is an alternative to terminal sterilization. In its simplest form, aseptic processing is handling of all of the raw materials, the product, the containers, the packaging material, controlling the people, the environment, the equipment, and the materials to ensure that our product remains sterile throughout the entire manufacturing process. Basically, when we finish manufacturing, the product is sterile. There is no terminal sterilization process at the end of manufacturing. To do this, we have to have strict controls, strict controls that are validated on our incoming materials, on our environment, on our equipment, and on our people to ensure that we maintain sterility throughout the manufacturing process. Aseptic processing can be done with a number of different techniques. I'm going to highlight five here. They are filtration, lipolization, clean in place, sterilize in place, and isolator systems, all of which can be used to maintain sterility in aseptic conditions. I will have separate videos on each of these different techniques later. So how do I know this is working? First, all sources of contamination are identified, controls are put in place, and those controls are validated. Second, my operators understand the importance of the aseptic techniques, the aseptic processes, and they exhibit the behaviors needed to maintain sterility throughout the manufacturing process. And then finally, all of my controls, they are validated. So how do I know it's not working? First, my contamination controls, they're not validated. My environment, my equipment, my materials, I'm not validating those processes to maintain aseptic conditions. Second, my finished product, I've got multiple sterility failures in my finished product. And then third, my operators, they don't understand the importance of aseptic processing techniques, and they don't exhibit the behaviors that we need to ensure that the product maintains its sterility. And now for the bonus questions. Do we do any aseptic manufacturing within the company? If yes, can you tell me where? Second, have we had any confirmed sterility test failures on finished product? And then finally, how do we qualify workers who work in the aseptic manufacturing environment? What type of training do they go to through? What type of training do they go through? How do we qualify them? How do we ensure that they understand the importance of maintaining a sterile environment? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Send any questions to me at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained, making quality systems simple for you.